Hello and welcome to The Standpoint. I can't believe the month of love, February, is coming to an end. Listen, we hope that our programs this month has helped you rekindle your love life, has helped you to bond as a family, has helped you to spread love wherever you find yourself. Don't let it end with the month of February. Let it continue throughout the year 2021 as we pray and continue to stay safe and protected that coronavirus will be kicked away from our country. That is not love. Let us show love by protecting each other and observing all the protocols. Today, I have a program for you. A woman that I've known for years, amazing, gifted, anointed. She's been beaten, she's been dragged, she's been stigmatized. She's been through it all, but she's still standing. Standing for God. What is her secret? I'm sure you know it. My guest today is Ohima Messi, the one only Ohima Messi. Have you heard her new single? Don't worry, I won't try to sing it. No, 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 I won't do that. But hey, once again, welcome to the standpoint. Call somebody to call somebody because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be anointed. It's going to be a blessing. Do not miss this episode, whatever you do. Well, let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth. My dress was made for me by Leran's Collection. And of course, our new makeup product sponsor, that's Not Cosmetics. Thank you so much to them. And my face beat my makeup by Michelin's Amero. Thank you. Thank you to all of them. We take a break. When we come back, we meet Ohima Messi. But hey, my earrings, have you realized that this month of February, I've changed my look small, those bold gold ears. Yes, the gifts are from Madame Efia Koto, the Deputy Maslok um, Director. Thank you so much. Here. We'll be back with Ohima Messi. Welcome back to the standpoint. Yes, today my guest is Mami Araba Ejiriba. Yes, you, you, you're wondering who she is. Yes, she's the one you know as Ohima Messi. Well, let me say thank you to our sponsor, GTP. Still timeless. Well, we say thank you to Esther and Balloons and Accessories. They have glammed up our studio today. Everything and every occasion deserves balloons. And if you need balloons and any accessories, just, just check out my flyers, you know, on set. Just get in touch with Esther and Balloons and Accessories and they will get, they will sort you out. Thank you so much to all of them. So my guest today is Ohima Messi. Ohima Kwaba. Yeah. Today you are looking like your godmother. Yes. Juanita. When I was actually coming on set, I, I decided to dress like her. <laughs> How did you meet Juanita? It was a dream come true. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think for about 10 years, mm -hmm. I've been praying about this. And um, 2017, I went to America and then I spoke to my brother, um, Sonny Badu. Okay. Because I saw a flyer that he, um, she's actually coming to his church. So I spoke to him and immediately, um, it didn't even take about one month. Mm -hmm. I, we had an encounter with her and she agreed to come to Tahila Experience 2018. And it was, it was a blast. Yeah. I must confess that I wasn't of myself yeah. I, because I actually wanted to tap something from her. Yeah. So I started from where she would sleep to her car. Everything, I made it, I made it a blast. And when I met her at the airport, she was like, are you the one bringing me to Ghana? And I said, yes, mom. And she said something. I must confess, you might, you might be prayerful to have brought me to Ghana. When we went out, I, I was listening to her. She said she lost one of her best car. Mm. That is the beast. Mm. So I have to go all the way to look for the beast car branded. And then when she went out and she saw the car, she started crying. Mm. And she asked, how did you do it? I said, mommy, I know what you want. Mm. And I want you to be... I want you to be happy so that you release that blessing I'm looking for from you. 
as the ride from there to her room and all that. I think that's something that we take for granted. Yes. That we want something from somebody, mm -hmm. but we just don't want to go the extra mile to tap that thing from well, that person. Like looking at Elisha and Elijah. Mm. You need to tap something. So I, 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 I learned from, from them and I decided that this is the woman I want to be like. Mm. And so I will not take it for granted just bringing her. I want to tap from something from her before yes. she leaves Ghana. Right. And so my mindset was different when the woman came. Mm. Right from the food that she will eat, the bed, the pillow. I prayed on it. So when she left, I have to go and lie down on the bed, pray and say, God, I need that grace. I need that anointing. And I must confess to you, taking something from someone, it takes sacrifice. It I, takes I was going sacrifice. to, that's something I've learned about you, or mm. I realized about you. Mm. When you want something from somebody, yes. when you want to, it doesn't matter whatever it is. You you humble yourself yes. and you go all out to make sure that mm. you tap that, mm. you take it. Mm. I learned it from Jesus. Mm. For Jesus to allow himself to go through that process and to lay down his whole life for us wasn't easy. Mm. So I decided to get to that level, I need to go through that process. Right. The process of sacrificing for someone to think that you are not normal. Mm. And that is what Jesus did for us. And Auntie Gifty, learning the full step of Jesus, what I took from him mm. is, is the journey of sacrifice. I think that's one thing that I was going to say. We women, mm -hmm. we seem to not to be too good at. Mm. We easily give up. That is true. We easily give up. The true. least challenge, mm. the least disappointment, that the least, true. you know, darkness. Mm -hmm. And then we easily give up. Mm -hmm. That maybe this is not where God wants me to go. You're right. uh -huh. Especially because, right. oh, I mean, with this challenge, dear, mm. Mm -hmm. and your and your uncle pompe, and Thank then God. we'll give up. That is true. I learned something about Hannah. And I learned something about Esther. Hannah had to pull the legs of Jehovah to the extent that even the prophet has to think that Hannah is, is a drunkard. Mm. You see, with the journey of God, sometimes he has to take you through something to bring that beautiful thing out of you. And when that thing that he wants to make you, mold you into, is not ready, God will never shoot you out there. And sometimes we have to even force ourselves to take through the back door right. and to go to the front. And that is a wrong move. I now understand why God took me through that disgrace. Mm. And now it took about 15 years, 16 years, coming up with, in, in the youthful um, days where I had some sisters, where I'm, you can see that even your grades, your performance, everything is really good. Mm. But they are, they are moving way, way, way better than you. Mm -hmm. And you sit down with the God. Is that how my life is going to be? And I remember when I had this song. Um, I was in the classroom. I was teaching and I was owing a lady. She, she came to the classroom and she was actually embarrassing me before the kids. So I have to take her out. And everything that I said, she wouldn't listen. So I have to meet a brother and, and she, he has to beg the woman on behalf of me. And I don't know who I'm in, I'm in Pabu, I see too. And I started crying. I was, I was asking God so many questions. So at the point I have to clean my face, mm -hmm. go to the classroom, and then just teach. And at the end, I was, when we closed, I was on my way. I have to walk two hours to the house. So I have to sit somewhere, and I started crying and asking God so many questions. Why, God? I pay my tithe. I pray. I worship. I do a lot. I sacrifice, clean the, 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 the church auditorium. 
I don't know why I have to go through this. And I had a, I, I, I had a loud voice. I am preparing something for you. Amen. I am seriously preparing your life. It might be late, but I will run with you Amen. on top speed that wherever you, you, you see yourself today, whoever you are seeing has moved ahead of you. You will run. And nobody can ever stop you. Amen. And then I had this song, I have to write it down. I did not know God was preparing mm. me for, for the studio. Yeah. Right after getting all the songs, I, I wrote about 15 songs. Right after getting it, I, I had to owe mm. my landlord in such a way that I, I, I wasn't able to sleep in the house for her to come to the house, my, 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 my doorstep and to be nothing. So I have to get up early. I have to sleep late. So one of the days I was just moving around and I met this man of God that was looking for me because he has heard me singing in one church. church. And then he said, I want you to come and minister. There's this one prayer that I pray, God, I don't know what you want me to go and do in the church, but use me to touch the man's heart. Because I, he had money. So when, after praying, I went to the church, ministered. I, I didn't even finish. And the man of God said, stop. God said, he's ready to take you to the honest In the heaven. name of Jesus. So I want to sponsor you to the studio. Amen. That, that, that just started the beginning of all my mercy. 15 songs for your 15 years of 15 misery. 15 years journey. 15 years journey. And I must confess to you, up till now, I understand whatever God takes me through. Mm. Even if... I need something and I have, to, I have to wait on God for one year, two years. I understand what he is doing. Yeah. So waiting on God and sacrificing yourself and, and having that kind of big heart patiently is very, very important with the work of God. Other than that, you can never please God. And nothing beautiful will ever come. You will blame a lot of people. But the real thing is that sacrifice, patience. The waiting on God is very, very important with the work of God. Let me take a break. When we come back, we get to know what is behind. How was her growing up? 15 years of misery. Out of it came 15 songs for an album. It took just one day. One day. 15 years. How many years have you waited? Uh, and already. Well, let me say thank you to our supporters. Our wick purified mineral water, which Ohima loves so much. She drank almost a whole bottle so far. <laughs> our wick purified mineral water and royal drinks by Casa Preco Company Limited. We are also supported by Gogot Yogurt. As a woman, yogurt is good for you. And you need to go for Gogot Yogurt. Of course, Kodam's gift and stationery, everything, gifts and station cards, whatever, you can get it from there. Thank you to House of Food, Auntie Vera. We are so grateful to you. Juice time, we are grateful. And of course, Yep Cleaning Services who take care of our environment all the time. Cake techniques, everything cake, they are there to sort you out. We say thank you to all our supporters and we are trusting God that even in these difficult times, we'll have more people to come and support us and sponsor us so we can give this program going. The month of July, the standpoint will be 13 good years. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? 13 years. How we go here. The story will be told another time. But we take a break. When we come back, we'll continue our story with Ohima Messi. What do you think about what you think about what you think about? Me wo Jesus, oh to me mo. Oh Me wo Jesus, oh to me mo. Oh to me mo. Me wo We'll be back. <laughs> we 
Welcome back to the standpoint. Me what Jesus. I won't, I won't spoil it. Don't worry. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil your mood here. But let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth. My dress was made for me by Liran Collections. Thank you so much to her. Makeup products by Note Cosmetics. Thank you to them. And my face paint, my makeup by Michelin's Amero. My earrings. In my back of mama. Ifia Koto. A sister. Ifia Koto. Sister Nye. Hey. If you could just say it. Oh, I was there. Jede, mama check. If ya. If ya. Pacho. She's she's another human being. She's a blessing. She's really really good. She's a blessing. Very very. Ahima. Yes, darling. How was growing up like for you? Um, Kufodia. Um. How did you learn the Kufo Fantini? Eh, then Kupo was Kufodia. I think Papa. Um, he was a Ghana Water and Sewage Transport Manager. Okay. So it wasn't. Um, I was born in Accra, Weja. Okay. Then we ended up in uh, Tamale. Okay. Um, at the age of, um, I think about six years, we came to Koforidia. Okay. So that, that's how you moved. Uh, you okay. moved, and then I grew up. Limited geographer. <laughs> <laughs> All my schooling, yeah. everything started in Koforidia. Okay. Yes. Okay. Did, how many siblings do you have? We, we are five. Five. Two um, brothers and then the ladies. Four. All of them are around? No, two are no more. The okay. brothers are no more, so yeah. it's left with all the... Uh, yeah. the Where girls. are they now? I'm, I'm in a crowd with the last born, and then my the, the one that comes after me is in Kufudia. Okay, so among the sisters, you are the eldest? Yes, I'm the eldest. What kind of upbringing did you have? Um, my, my father was a Church of Pentecost um, presiding elder. Okay. My mom is a Dickness. Okay. So Your mom is still around? Yes. Your dad is also around? They are all in Kofoidia. Oh, God. Okay. And I was brought up in a Christian background, Church of Pentecost, um, at Bethel uh, Church of Pentecost. And I had this father, um, Elder Mercury's father, mm -hmm. that loved me so much. And with my ministry, he identified it. Mm -hmm. He prayed for me, especially when I was at the age of 15 years, and I was graduated to the adult church. And one of the days, he gave me a microphone to sing, and I saw the move of God. It was, it was something else. So right from there, he prayed for me that he sees that God is going to use me massively, mm -hmm. even though I did not know what he's talking about. Right. So I, I started second, secondary school, and the secondary school, because I came from the church where prayer is, is, is the main focus, mm. I, I joined SU. Okay. Yes. Uh, in the third year, I became the SU president mm. and then the Pentecostal president. So I was involved in the Christian mm. activities at, on so campus. So you didn't have the opportunity to be a bad girl? Oh! I I remember my younger sister's ah, sister year green dodo. <laughs> so many. So it was it was all crefe crefe crefe. So I got married. So I when we were at the secondary school, he been important to me because I I'm always in the prayer. <laughs> they, they call me Ojashio <laughs> Star. <laughs> And I saw the move of God one of the nights, uh, uh, like in a dormitory. There was this lady I was sleeping um, on top of. Mm -hmm. the, but you see that the, we the, have the, the student bed. bed. Yeah. I was on top of the bed, and she is down. We are senior I One of the nights, I, start, I started praying. When I was praying, something happened. The lady got up and she started shouting. Me, when she see me. I want to go out. And the kind of things that happened in the room, everybody was running. I was running and God said, go back. And then I started you praying. Start, you started the fire and you were running away. And then I started because she was acting like a man. And I've never experienced it in my life. So I have to start praying and I involved everybody to pray and we delivered the lady. Right from there, I, I realized that God has something to do with me. And everybody around me 
everybody was so careful mm. not to offend me, not to, and if anything happens on campus, we have to go for mercy. I'm one. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids do you have now? I have three, three. powerful prophets. Amen. <laughs> boys, eh? They are all boys. boys. Uh, what are their names? Um, the firstborn, um, 17, is um, Nyameche. Mm. Second is Inshira. Okay. And then the last one, Asida. They are all in school? They are all in school. How does it feel like mothering boys? It's not easy. Three boys. You yourself, you look 17. <laughs> it's not easy, but I, I pray to God because of the kind of work that I do. Because I lost my brothers. Mm. I needed to fill in. Mm. So I pray to God, Father, I need boys. Were you close to them before they passed I was on, your so brothers? Close. I was so close. I How was... old were you when they passed on? Um, oh, I had married. Um, oh, okay. at the age of I oh, think, then that means they 20. had grown up. Yes, are you the first of the five? Yeah. No, okay, I, I'm the third. Third, so yes. the two way, yes, and okay. I needed them so much. Yeah, and at that particular time, they, they passed on. It was a tough time for yeah. me. I remember seeing all these things, and I, one, one night I got up and I was praying because I realized it, it's becoming a chain. Mm. And, and, and then God said, you need to break that chain. Mm. So I, t I started praying. It took me 21 days. 21 days, prayer and fasting. I went to the Nkoko Mountains. I was praying and God revealed himself to me and said, I have exempted you. Amen. I'm, I'm, I must confess to you that where I am coming from, my mother's background, my father's background, there's so many battles you need to battle in life mm. for you to be able to come out. Mm. So immediately I realized that my two brothers are no more. I said, not on my life. Amen. Sometimes you need to challenge God. You need to just get up and shut the devil. Not on my life. We go through things and all that we can do is to cry. It is not. Sometimes you need to arise and break that chain. I have to get up and fast for 21 days for the mercies of God to, 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 to come on me, to not to go through that, that, that curse, not to go through that battle, because I realized I was, I was going through that. Yeah. Difficulties financially, my life, and I realized I need to do something about it. I didn't know. The process was I would get married, go through all the hassles, mm -hmm. financial, difficulties, pain, shame, I did not know. When God is telling you or testing you, it is not that sweet. Hmm. Sometimes you need to go through shame right. because somebody is coming from the world that does that need you to survive. Right. I remember I became a hospital prisoner where it was difficult to get money to take me out. I For like two prison. days. A hospital prisoner. Yes where you, you, you have been kept because you don't have money to pay your bills. And it is not favorable. Because the environment over there is not favorable at all. I was crying. And then one of my sons that normally comes to us um, from school said, Mommy, I have my school fees. I can use it to pay your bills. Oh, then no. right after when you get the money, we will and pay the school fees. That was my savior. That was my savior. Do you mind mentioning this person's name? Oh, I, I, call, I call him Andrew. He knows so about this testimony. He knows about it. Wow. And, and, and so I, God brought a savior to save me. Yeah. And yeah. right after paying my bills and everything, I feel like there's something um, under my, uh, what do you, the, where they yeah. did the yeah, operation. Lower, yeah, yeah, okay. So I called one of the nurses to take a look at it. And then, lo and behold, she just pressed it and it opened again. Hey, Auntie After Gipti. After two days of prison, Auntie Gipti, that somebody has come to use the school fees to pay I'm for you to go I'm telling you, home. I started crying, shouting. I don't have the money to go back to the theater. Everybody was, was around me. We need to, they were begging, we need to take you to the theater. I said, I don't have the money. Say, Radebe Shemye Mame Wua. On Shemye Mame Wua. 
because I have done a lot for him. Ah. And he cannot leave me like this. And I'm telling you, at that scene, if you are left alone, I will cry, be pro. Yeah. I will cry. Infection. B. Yeah. So there is this woman that came around. She's a nurse. She said, okay, I can help you. But we need to take you through that process and see if it, it, it will work. But if it doesn't work, Monday we have to rush you. Amen. Maybe you are going through the same situation. God will never. Well, I did be out moon that social media. God no good. God no good shame us. Yeah, God no good shame us. Sister, right there, the nurse has to go to 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 the pharmacy, buy a lot of medicine, and then I was allowed to go to the house. I have to walk like this for six months out of the classroom. And to God be the glory. I am a testimony. Amen. I'm a survivor. Amen. Oh, be able to my survive. Mm. I don't know. But anybody at all can survive. Yeah. If you allow God to be the center of this battle, you're able to go through it and you come out a beautiful person. Allow yourself to go through it. Allow yourself to go through it. Everybody can survive if only you allow God to be the center of it. If only you won't give up. On him, mercy. Mami, Araba. Ejiriba. Hey! I was named after my, mom, my father's mother. This is not my show. It's a show. Let me take a break and come back. <laughs> Let me say thank you to DTP, our sponsor. Thank you so much. Esther and Balloons and Accessories, they have, you know, glammed up the studio for us today. Everything Balloons and Accessories, get in touch with them and they'll sort you out. Whether it's a surprise, whether it's a birthday, whatever the occasion is, just let them know your budget and they will do it for you. Balloons and accessories, Esther and balloons and accessories, they are in Accra, but even if you are in Iceland and you want them there, they will come sort you out. Thank you so much to them. We take a break. When we come back, we'll continue the journey of Ohima Messi's life. <laughs> Welcome back to The Standpoint. We say thank you to House of Food, Kodam's Gifts and Stationery, Gogot Yogurt, Awake Purified Mineral Water and Royal Drinks by Casa Preco, Company Limited, Cake Technique, and of course, Yep Cleaning Services who take care of our environment. Juice time, 100% fruit juices. Remember, this program is aired on six platforms. That's Joy Prime, EBN TV, True TV. We stream on Sundays, 8 p.m., on the Standpoint Facebook page and YouTube, and then our website as well, www.thestandpoint.com.g. Please follow us on social media, like our page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and of course, set your notifications so that when we have anything coming up, you know that you'll be notified, okay? What's your social media handles, Ohima? Um, on Facebook, is Ohima Mess Ministries and Outreach. Okay. On Instagram, Ohima Messi Official. Okay. The rest of the digital platform is Ohima Messi. Ohima Messi, all right. Ohima. Yes, dear. Throughout the discussions, you know, you've talked about, you know, your journey of shame and all that. And mm. we know you've been through a lot. A lot. And you are going through a lot. Mm. You know, the speculations in the media <laughs> and all that. But that's your prerogative. That's if you, it. when you're ready, I know you'll talk about mm. it. And yes. I respect that. I'm not going to push you in that angle. Thank but you. how do you handle it? God giving me this ministry, I have to go through lots of battles, meeting people, um, sometimes things that you don't even expect, someone that you love so much, you've sacrificed so much, I have to um, um, betray you and all that, I have to go through it, right from when I came out with my first album. Then at a particular time, I have to sit down and realize and to, 
to strategize myself in such a way that these are the people that will open up my doors. These are the people that need to be far. And these are the people that I need to fall on. Because sometimes you will speak to people that you feel you are just pouring out. But the, at the end of it, you realize they are the wrong people you have. You are falling on. Every mistake has a reason. It is not a shame to go through that mistake. Mm. Sometimes God allows you to go through that hardship so that you will learn something from it. The kind of people, somebody like you, I'm sure going to you mm. had great men and women of yes. God around you. Yes. You know, people in your ministry who mm. seem to be there with you. Eish. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. 2020. Eish. Um, Sister, 20, when 20. the things were done, I mean, I remember I was in quarantine mm -hmm. when I think I was praying one mm -hmm. day. My, I just felt like and I called you. It was a shocking news to me. I mean, I just because felt at that like particular calling. day, I have cried the whole night, and I needed you. And those words that you you spoke to me, I needed it so much. And for me, it just tells us that, irrespective of what you're going through, mm. God has prepared somebody. Thank you. Somebody to reach out. And I'm sure from the testimonies that you have had, mm -hmm. you know, even from the last year when we had the <laughs> women called to worship, hey. the testimonies that were, they came out of it. Mm. But sometimes, sister, when, <laughs> oh, yeah, yo. I, 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 the waiting it's, period is it's so painful. When you see everybody, as you rightly said, mm -hmm. you have sacrificed for God. Mm. I mean, yeah, from one crap with that, eh? And Let's go cry. You know, God's story af before. After talking to you, I had this brother of mine, Prophet Ajemai yes. Pempe, yes. that said, Do you know that Jesus had his own brother, Judas? Mm. I said, Ah, Mama, I can buy a brother. I'm mean, not Judas. I'm mean, yeah, yeah, a Bible scholar. And I can go to Judas. I'm not any Jesus. But he wasn't happy that on the Bible system, I'm not a Jesus. Within a twinkle of an eye, 30 years, you got 33 years. You are doing ministry miracles and people are following you everywhere. Jesus said, David, but I know you know. Just a coin. No, they turn on in here. Know that sometimes God will bring people around you to betray you. Mm. If you blame them, you will miss it. Because God needs you to, to, to allow people to come around you to betray you because you need to get that crown. Mm. I said, wow, you are really talking to me. 2020, people said you can never come out again. I know. They say you can never release an album. I know. Or even a single. I know. There are a lot of things that did you, I have. Did you go through that phase yourself? Did you at a point feel like, can I ever come out of this? I'm telling you. Especially in the month of April, mm. I was asking God, are you sure this thing will end? Are you sure, God, this thing will end? Because I have to sleep in, in my chair for three days, not even bathing, not even, not even knowing who, where I am, alone. I said, Papa, so you've, you've let people off my life. Mm. I don't have anyone around me. What at all do you want from me? I'm doing something. I'm tired of you telling me I'm doing something. I need to see that miracle okay. happening now. So they take your time. Mm. So in the month of May, when I got this message, I said, thank you, Jesus. Then my spirit started reviving. Listen, it yes. might be very, very sad. In my, it, God... God has to take Abraham through that process to the point where even the only son that was a promise, he has to take it. God wants to do something with your life. That is why you are going through all this. Hey, now I understand that. Say, Kana me din na nera did him say me de fear. Me bua fu be ba be chum. Hallelujah. And nun tina me deka. Understand God better. Oh, so and in the year 2021, till I die, 
and the gift. I was telling you, till I die, nobody can ever convince me from the love of God and from what he's able to do. 2021. Why did you write that song, Otimimo? In, in the month um, um, May, last year, 2020, when I saw um, on the news, Al Jazeera and mm. CNN, and we're in the season of COVID, mm. where we were locked down. Right. And then I was watching, and then in, in, the, in Italy, they, they had this big hole where they were pouring dead bodies. Mm. Hey, me see, Papa. And I was asking God, hey, even Italy, then I had this song. It was Church of Pentacles, like it's an old song, but that is not how they even sing, sing it. it. I started singing it. It was consoling me. Then I have to call a brother of mine to sit down and then we write all these lyrics. Then my brother Kiwa gave us a, a very powerful tune. And then I called my son Emoji to come and also add up. And this is Otimimu song that is doing a lot of miracles, a lot of testimonies. And Obi Award, that hospital, and the doctor, she was about to go through cesarean. And this song delivered the lady. Us baby, you no, know, is, is in the cross. I don't know the term yeah, that yeah, they yeah, normally which, use. Yeah. And then right at the theater, she said, please, I want to sing on him, Mama. Because this is the first time she's doing going through cesarean. Mm -hmm. So I know that 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 feel. Mm -hmm. She was so scared. And then she started singing. Jesus, or Timimu, whilst she was singing, she said she had this serious um, atmosphere around the room. And she started blowing tones. And the baby turned. Within, wow. within 15 minutes, she gave birth. And when I got this song, in the midst of all that, this song actually revived my spirit. I went to the mountains and I was praying and a man of God ministered to me. This song is going to take you far. Amen. And I was like, and I said, you baby, why I didn't make offer. I said, this one is different because it is coming out of your own womb. And so many people will need this one. Do you know, before you called and said, I was talking to you about the release, I had had this prophecy from Prophet Ajiman telling me that, I feel this one, God is ministering to me that we should not release it at the time. I said, no. I had to battle with him. <laughs> and he said, The Arab was, <laughs> was, was so, the working. <laughs> so when you called and you confirmed, I said, ah, prophecy not the moon. And the gift is a no. We should release it the following year. And it was it was the right time. Yeah. Because it yeah. was good for the year. Yes. This song is actually giving some people deliverance. Yeah. One guy called me, I was I was on one of the radio stations, and he said, um, when this song came out, he's going through the battle of masturbation. Mm. And so even the wife, um, Introduced this song to him. He, he said he's been going through this for um, right from his childhood. At the age of 20 something years, he's still going through that. He said he was sleeping and he had something coming out of him. While the, the song was, was being played throughout the whole night, something came out of him. He got up, went to the um, bathroom after urinating. Right from there up till now, he has never masturbated. In the name of Jesus. There are a lot of testimonies. Maybe you are the, the next one that is going to receive this testimony. testimony. Amen. If you are going through financial, financial difficulties in right. the month of March, I prophesy. Amen. That ultimate Jesus, this song is for you. If you will fall on it. Yes. And, and then believe God for 24-hour miracles like God is doing in the lives of people, it will surely happen to Amen. you. Amen. It will surely come, come your way. I Amen. pray for you Amen. that in the month of March, 
God will bring something beautiful out of your life. Yes, God is ready yes, to have a testimony out of you. Heaven is ready at your cause. What is next for you? A lot. For those of us close to you who mm. know you, it's so refreshing and rewarding that this song mm. has brought you Mm. So much joy. Mm. It's retained the laughter. Mm. It is restoring even you personally. Thank you. Because talking to it you. It started that, right from me. It started from you. Mm. Restoration. Mm. Mm. And that is what is, the, this song is doing mm. out there. Mm. Mm. What, what, what is next for you? And what is your message to I, every single person watching Auntie you? Auntie Gifty, looking at where God is taking me, it's, it's, it's amazing. Now I have a lot of people, the right people that are close to me, and they are helping me a lot. Okay. And Ohima Mercy Ministries, we have um, the phase of the campus ministry. Yes. We have the prison ministry, mm -hmm. and we also have the Queens and Kings that is becoming bigger. We have the Takradi branch. Yes. We now have the Kumasi and Accra. Yes. And this year, Tahila experience, we are going to unveil all this. And I am believing God that this year, by the end of this year, God is going to take me to the international world. Amen. We are prophesying. Amen. And it has surely happened. Amen. And I'm also prophesying unto your life. Amen. This year, right from March, mm. is going to be one of the years you testify the greatness mm. of God. Mm. Um, position yourself very well. Mm. Just lay down everything that you have you, you've been through and ask God what next. And it will amaze you. Take your eyes off any man. Mm. And I'm saying it again. Yeah. Any human being, being. Yeah. And lay down your eyes onto Jehovah. Mm. And I'm telling you, there are mysteries under the unction of God. If you allow God to be the center of your life. God is going to reveal to you what next, what you have to do to be prosperous. And that is my message for you in the year 2020. Right from the, the mm. month March. Yeah. Allow God. Allow him. The destiny of, of everyone is in the hands of identify yourself. Know who you are as a woman. I'm especially speaking to yeah. the wounded women. Mm. The wounded women. Women that have been rejected. Women that have been thrown stones at. You are the one God wants to use. Because there are some generations that need you. Because if you're able to survive this, I'm telling you, testimonies will come out of your life. Amen. So allow God and lay all the problem, the pain that is in your heart, let it out. Pain is killing women. Mm. If you will take this pain off you and look up to Jehovah, I'm telling you, that real you will come out and you stand tall. And those people that, that look down on you, that reject the stone, yeah. they will come back and pick you. Right. And in fact, some, some of you, if you allow God, some people that rejected you will pay money before they will come and see you. Amen to that. Amen. So allow God. Allow God. Allow God. Allow God. Thank you so much, Ohima. God Amen, bless sister. you. God richly bless you. Amen. And you think that God is doing something mighty with mm. your Timimu and he's doing it. But trust me, before June. And there's this prayer I'm praying to God that yeah. you issue. We still have to bring the women on the altar. The wailing, yeah. The women, the willing women at the, the altar. Women the women at the altar. altar. We'll do it. Yeah, be, yeah. We need to do we'll it. We'll do it. Pa, yeah, be, yeah, be, yeah, pa. This year was the plan in our community in Hwana, but we know that we'll do it. I want but to especially if, thank you, Auntie Gifty. Yo, sister. You've added so much to my life. If you are to me, yeah. I'm Nana Mama Brown. Yeah. Uh, Stacy. Yeah. There are lots of people that yeah. at that particular time. Yeah. Let me Yeah. Came into my life mm. and they've made Oh, him, my is so beautiful. I want to say thank you so much. Dana Hamilton, oh. thank you. Yeah. Give to your say. Yeah. Thank all the women in gospel music. Yeah. Thank you so much. 
Eh, I saw for our Ghana. Me name do I am Messi. Who are do for them? Me bo bi ni dina. Me man bo bi ni dina. No why ask them? Ghana. I did not know I have sons and daughters that can pray for me twenty four hours, sister. I call my royals. I call them my royals. I am so honored to have all of you. And I know where God is taking us is so beautiful. This year, Tahila experience and people need to be carried home. Mm -hmm. Because you have started it down. Yeah. And whether Corona or no, no corona. corona, 2021 edition of Tahila experience. It's coming on. It's coming on live. It's coming on. Yeah, yeah, sure. when August or July or August. It's still August. It's still and August. this year we're doing it on the 8th. 8th of, of August. August. Yes. Eight so prepare August. yourself. Prepare, prepare yourself. Those of you so who need to travel it, yeah. and come, you need to get ready. And so into it, support us whichever mm. way you can support. Mm. You know, start now. Start saving towards it. We'll put Momo number out there. Contributions, whatever you have, water, drinks, whatever it is to support it. Tap into it. You see how beautiful you are. Yes. I have this little gift. From Notes Cosmetics to you. I knew it. Hey! Notes Cosmetics, so. Wow. You know, it just, I mean, the whole set, the what foundation. What package The foundation, the powder, the liner, the mascara, hey, everything. Hey, my God, thank you. Know, you. Now, when, we'll, we'll go to them for sponsorship. Oh, yes, yeah, they have to. Maybe I have a Wow. So this is Look just at to say this. thank you. I love this. You thank already you. beautiful. Hey, my true man. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back with a bit of me. <laughs> you know, I know it's become like a cliche. Everybody is saying it. That nothing good comes easy. You need to make sacrifices. But my dear, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, but that's the reality. Even those who were born into riches, those who were born with golden spoons in their mouth, those who were inherited or who inherited riches will still have to make sacrifices to stay relevant, to stay successful, to stay rich, to stay great and important. We need to make sacrifices. And maybe you are going through your sacrificial phase. Don't think God has forgotten about you. No, it is not easy for me. And you know what? The sacrificial moment will never end. No, 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 no. You will have to keep sacrifices. You will have to keep sacrificing. But one thing I can tell you, God will not disappoint you. At the beginning of the year, I made a post on my social media platform on Hinary Gifty and T. Dashoga. I said that I cannot promise you that 2021 will be perfect, that you will have no challenges. But what I can promise you is that God will see you through. Don't give up. This is a face. Stay strong, stay focused. Keep fighting, keep pushing. Don't give up. No pain, no gain. If you've read my books, I talk about, you know, the scars that you will have to, you know, um, you will have to incur. Some will be physical, some will be emotional, some will be psychological. Some will go away, some will stay with you forever. It will never fade. But that is what will propel you. Always have a positive attitude to every situation. Keep hope alive. Keep believing. Keep trusting in yourself and in your God. And oh, let me tell you this. You see, when it feels like God is not there, is not with you, is not minding you, look around you. Look around you. When we say that make God the center of your, of your, of your life and that he's the provider, we don't mean that it don't work. We don't mean that no human being will help you. No, what it means is that God will cause people to come and do good unto you. God will cause people to come and touch your life. God will cause people to come and direct you. God will cause people to open doors for you. So keep pushing. Keep working hard. Keep staying focused. Keep being determined. 
but never lose sight of the God factor. I am a woman with super crazy faith in God. This year, my super crazy faith is extraordinary. And that's my theme for the year. And that's the theme for the standpoint. The extraordinary woman. And being extraordinary does not make you superhuman. It only means that you make the best of every situation. Small or big, you appreciate it. And you always keep a positive mind and keep building on every situation. Don't stay down. Don't stay dis. The, the, the stead, disorganized, disowned, don't stay neglected, rise up, be extraordinary. You can, you can, you can, you can, because you know what? God created you, woman, in a very extraordinary way. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. God has given us wisdom. Let's apply it. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.